Amen. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Amen. Our God is good. Hallelujah. Are we ready this morning? Hallelujah. You can be seated. So this morning, we will be looking at assignments and orchestration. What did I say? Assignments and orchestration. And I want you to look deep into things because a lot of things are very difficult and it is because of assignments and orchestration. Now we know that everybody in this world basically has plans, right? Basically, you plan for eat, people plan for sleep. How many of you are planning to go to work tomorrow? Let me see your hand, those are planning to go to work tomorrow, yeah man. So we have plans, right? We have plans. Plans to go to school, some people have plans to party. Aaron, give me a little more bass in my mic, please. We know that God has plans, right? I need you to focus, please. God has plans. God has plans. Why? How do we know that? Because the Bible says, the plans that I have for you are plans of peace, if you know the scripture, to prosper you and give you an expected end. Now, if people have plans and God has plans, if we have an active enemy, he must have plans too, right? Am I right or am I right? All right. Now, the name of Satan means, anybody know what the name of Satan means? Deceiver or adversary. Now, when God gives names, him not give name idly. It means what it means. The name Satan means adversary or deceiver. So, it is the nature of the devil to do bad things. Am I right? No, if it is the nature of the devil to do bad things, he must have bad plans. The Bible says he's a murderer from the beginning. Jesus says the prince before Jesus was crucified, when they were to call, when they were coming for him, he says, The prince or the ruler of this world, the evil one, will come and visit me. But he has nothing inside of me or nothing over me. The devil planned for Jesus. Watch this. The devil did plan. And the first thing the devil did was to enter Judas. Do you guys read the Bible? The devil entered Judas. And after the devil entered Judas, both Judas, those that killed Jesus, Christ's Pharisees, rulers, whatever, in that time, planned to do Jesus bad things. They planned for bringing him to court. They planned for talk. They planned for the one bad thing to Jesus. It was not just only mere man. It was the devil. Do you agree with me? It was all orchestrated. Keep that word in mind, plans and orchestration. It was all orchestrated. Now, when we deal with orchestration, we deal with events and timing. Things that just work in the right time for the bad thing to just happen. Now, listen to me good. Orchestration. Orchestration. So, after saying all of this, as a child of God, you cannot just sit there thinking that the devil is not planning for you and your family. Especially us minister Griffiths, we who are a ministry and we cast them out all the time and them beg for mercy. Deacon Camille, we pray against them every week and we pray for people. Don't you dare think that the devil is not trying to get back at us. You know, hear me I say? Michelle, you hear me I say? All right, He's trying to get back on us, planning against us. He might plan how to stop the ministry. He might use Obia workers to pray against we. He might he's planning how to make the leaders feel. He might plan how to make the members leave, even without a good cause. It is all orchestrated, and we would be fools if we think that is, it is all just natural. Plans, plans. If you notice, after Jesus was 
after he got baptized and he was anointed by the Spirit of God. The Bible says, the Spirit of God came down like a dove and rested upon Jesus. And the voice of God came and spoke, this is my beloved son. After all of that, the Bible says Jesus was visited by the devil in the wilderness. Stay there and get anointed, yeah? And think that you will not be visited. It is very serious. Now, what is an assignment? We know what plans are. You plan to do this, you plan to do that. What is an assignment? An assignment is a task or a work or task or piece of work allocated to someone as a part of a job or course of study. Now the devils are minions will study you. Why? Because it is their job. Now we're going to look at assignments this morning. We have demonic assignments and we have godly assignments. We hear everybody talk about demonic assignments and a whole heap of stuff. Have you ever heard of people talking about the assignment of God? God has plans. God has assignments for people. No, it is my belief, based on scripture and based on just natural events happening, not everything that, happened, that happens in this world is 100% natural. Do you believe that? I'm going to say it again. Not everything that happens in this world is 100% natural. In fact, I would say basically just the same thing. Almost everything what happened in the world is demonically influenced. How do I know that? Because the Bible says in Revelation 12 that the dragon took a third of the angels with him. No, we know that the Bible states that the angels of God are innumerable. They are countless. No, if the devil could convince one third of the, the, the amount of innumerable angels to rebel against God, we don't know, say, we don't can't really count demons, right? Because are too much. One third of innumerable. You can't count that. You can't count that. Say one third of them. Which was given by God because you know God knows all of them. God knows all the numbers. Amen? That's eternity. Now, if there is a kingdom, there must be laws that govern. There are laws that govern this natural earth. For example, the law of gravity. What goes up? must come down come on you have, to, you have to correspond with me what goes up must come down there are god has his laws for his kingdom amen, amen. one must think that the devil has laws for his kingdom how he rules it now just as in the army you have laws and you have ranks that govern it is the same thing in the kingdom of satan the same thing laws that Govern. Now I would like to ask you a question. Where is Satan's kingdom? A holy for people say Satan, Satan is in the second heaven. For the Bible says in Revelation he was cast out of heaven. Now if he has been cast out of the heavens. Of, no, Paul speaks about being in the third heavens. Now if Paul speaks about the third heaven, you must have heaven number two. And you, have must, you must have heaven number one. Amen. No, in the book of Revelation, the Bible says Satan was kicked out of heaven. No, if he kicked out of heaven in the Old Testament, Jesus said, I see Satan fall like lightning. And him get kicked out in the book of Revelation out of the second heaven. Yeah, you can say, okay, his habitation or where he rules from is also in the second heaven. But the kingdom of darkness is in the earth. The world that you live in. Full of so much beauty and nature and all these things. The kingdom of darkness is here. For Satan rules here. Now I'm going to contradict a fallacy. A lot of people say, most people that say this, they are not believers. Satan does not live in hell. Hell is just a, punish, a, pun, a place of punishment 
for evil people when they leave the earth. Read your Bible and stop listening to foolish people. Satan rules the world. The kingdom of darkness is here on earth. So because there is a kingdom, but there is a dark kingdom here in earth, the kingdom must have plans. You know, hear what I say? St. John verse 14, verse 30, Jesus states, the devil is the prince of this world. Common sense, but maybe that's why the Bible says, love not the world nor the things of this world. Because Satan is the prince of the world. 1 John 5 verse 19 says, the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. Full of darkness. I love this scripture. Because I now preach rubbish for those who are questioning what I'm preaching. Colossians 1 verse 13 says, You have been rescued from the domain of darkness when you get saved. And transferred into the kingdom of Jesus. So the kingdom of darkness is in the world. Amen. Acts 26 verse 18 says, They that turn from darkness to light and from the dominion of Satan. To God. So the kingdom of darkness is where? In the earth. The kingdom of darkness is where? Come on, me have to drill it in your brain. Sister Donna, the kingdom of darkness is in? The earth. So the earth is full of not just sinful men. But because the kingdom of darkness is here, the earth is full of evil beings. Evil beings, the dominion of Satan is here. Wanna hear me say? Know that you know that you don't have to ask the question, why do bad things happen in earth? I'm tired to hear it, Kimara. Why do bad things happen in the earth? Especially to good people. Because the earth full of devils. Full of devils. No, just a question. Do you think that all evil beings that were cast out with Satan are of the same rank and power? Thank you. Thank you. There are different ranks. There are different levels of authority. Note, everything that is in heaven that God sets up, the devil just imitates it. He imitates it. Why? Because he has nobody else that, that, that's greater than him to copy. He has to copy the thing that is greater than him. He will not copy something that's below him. Why? Because you're below him. The devil, the prince of pride. He, he, what is below him, he will never copy. But what is above, he has to copy it. Because it is higher than him. Now, let us look at some army ranks. We are going to look at some natural ranks this morning, right? From the lowest to the highest ranks. You have private. Private are when you just enter the army. You have private, second class. You have private, first class. You have specialist. You have corporal. You have sergeant. You have staff, sergeant. You have sergeant, first class. You have master sergeant. You have... First, sergeant. You have sergeant major. And you have the commanding sergeant major. Sergeant major of the army. Ranks. Ranks. In any army, the orders or the order doesn't come from the lowest rank to the highest rank. It is the same thing in the kingdom of darkness. It is the same thing in the kingdom of God. Orders do not come from the lower rank. So be, be, be aware when you bright yourself thinking that you are feisty with those that are above you. You hear what I say? Why? Because it is not just a natural kingdom. It is the kingdom of God. It is the kingdom of God. So when you go against 
the right authority, you are basically going against God's system. Amen. When you hear what I say? No, I'm not talking about reasoning or small disagreements. Amen? Because you can like blue and I like purple, even though I don't like purple. But it doesn't matter. That are, those things are just simple things to deal with. Amen? Amen? But when you are bright yourself, thinking that you are higher than those that are above you, you will come under the correction of God. When you hear me say, natural army, the, kingdom, the, the army of Satan or the kingdom of Satan, and the kingdom of God. Orders come from top, from top down. Now, Ephesians 6.12 says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Now, you have a lot of people that believe only for people contest this scripture. And they say, all right, Paul wasn't really talking about spiritual beings. No, Elder Hopeton, I would love to ask them a question. If Paul wasn't talking about spiritual beings, why would Paul say we wrestle not against flesh and blood? It, yeah. The scripture more makes sense to me than your stupid questioning. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Why? Yeah, but why? Because we don't just operate as natural beings. Pastor Denise, we operate as natural beings and we operate in the spirit. Amen? The spirit of God. The Bible says God is a and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit. Devils are also wicked spirits. They are wicked beings. Therefore, sometimes when we see things happen because they are everywhere, even in the church, it is not just because of natural people, just regular people. It is because of evil beings that are trying to make things go off. You hear what I say? So we will be talking about the hierarchy of Satan in Ephesians 6. In Ephesians 6. Cool. Now the first thing that Paul states, the ranks are principalities. Now may I forget your outline of stuff so you can see why so many things go wrong, why you have orchestration. Now a principality, a principality is a prince ruler or a chief ruler based on Daniel chapter 10. It speaks about the prince of Persia. Daniel chapter 10 also speaks about the prince of Greece. A principality. A principality is a evil ruler or a top prince over a region. Now it is obvious that in the spiritual realm the end, Daniel, you know the, the, the Bible, you know the scripture, right? Daniel, the prophet of God, was praying. And as I was saying it to Hopeton, Ella Hopeton this morning, there are so many that call themselves prophet. And they can't pray for your angel for God release an angel. The Bible says when the angel came to Daniel, he says, Daniel, be highly beloved of God. Highly respected of God. Simple mean that Daniel, you are so respected in the heavenly realm that when you pray, angels have to be released. And Kimara, it was not just a regular angel. It was not just a... a no, we know that all angels are special and they move with the power of God, they move in God, right? But it was, we don't want to call them lower rank. But it was not a smaller angel because when it comes to the beings of God, there are not just levels of strength, but it's just based on purpose. So we're not going to look upon one angel and say, you are more inferior than. It is just purpose. You understand? It is just purpose. Just like in the eyes of God, I am no more important than you. But I may be an elder, a leader to help people grow. While you may be just someone all God give you is just the gift of service. If you're not clean, nobody's not going to come in at a dirty place. 
But if I'm not, or, or your leaders are not here to lead, everybody are going to just run wild. I may have a higher rank than you, but we still have our purposes, our, our individual purpose is still important to God. Do you know that we all have one level of grace? Me not no more grace than you, no Pastor Denise. Yes. So when it comes to angels, me don't want to really look on it as a lower rank. I want to rather look on it as just purpose, different purposes, right? But when Daniel prayed, the angel that God sent was resisted by the prince or the principality over Persia. The angel wasn't strong enough to break through. And the Bible says, Deacon Camille, Daniel prayed. And Daniel prayed. Minister Griffiths, Daniel prayed for 21 days. And the Bible says, God released a next angel. <laughs> Ask the so-called prophet them nowadays if they can do that. Beloved of God, for God release one angel, Pastor Denise. And Daniel still a pray for God release a stronger one. A Jew anointed. So the principality, a fight them, actually a fight, you know. And the Bible says, Michael was there, and him hold back the angel, boom. And the first angel got released. Amen? Amen. Cool. Do you know that the Bible says, the angel says, you know, Ella Hopton, after I give you the message, Daniel, when I am gone, I will face the prince of Persia again. And the prince of Greece will come. So because he never, the prince of Persia never get to do what he might do. The prince of Greece will come. You want to see how serious warfare is? Because Satan set up in kingdom that bad things are fit happen. Assignments and orchestration. Now, as I said before, in kingdoms, it is always rank against rank. The Bible says the prince of Persia withstood the prince, the, 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 the angel that God sent, right? When the angel came to Daniel Kimara, the angel said, I was fighting there and I was withstood for 21 days. But God has released Michael, one of the chief princes. A prince against prince. Rank against rank. That's why I said before, Others do not come from the rank below to the high. It comes from the highest rank down. So if we behave on ourselves as church people. Because I gotta deal with things. I gotta deal with ranks here. Amen. That is why certain pressure, Deacon Camille, that we come under. And only we elders them can break it. I have been in situations where no matter how me pray, things just have happened to me. Me don't know who me disturb. Me don't know who me pray against. But Minister Griffiths, at my yard, outside of my yard talking to my neighbors, me hear people are call me, and it was not my neighbors. Me I look at Fisi who are call me, and nobody now call me. In my house asleep. Things are holding me down. Me I get bad every time. Me can't sleep because every time I shut my eye, me I get bad dreams. <gasps> wake up, my heart I beat me out of breath. And when I wake up, hold on, me hear things are run through the house. Me, sh me, me, me plate them a rattle. Me alone in my house. And no matter how my prayer could break. Until I told the apostle. And he said, come Sunday. And on that Sunday, he laid hands on me. And from, me now say from that day, from the hand they touched me and him pray for me, it has never happened again. Why? Rank against rank. 
That is why he is in the office of an apostle. Duh. No, that is principalities over regions. Looking down, ensuring that things go according to plan. When I'm done the message, I will tell you the story of the vision or the vision that gave, God gave to me of the principalities. Amen? Amen? It is not to be taken as doctrine. I'm just telling you my vision. I have had a couple. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible speaks of principalities and powers. Now, we, as I said before, principalities are those that are over regions, them big, you know, over regions, ensuring that bad things happen. They are the ones that basically the top planners. Right, Pastor Denise? Then now we talk about powers. Principalities and powers. Powers are evil supernatural forces. Powers. In 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 9 it says, for example, when the Antichrist, the man of sin comes, it will be the work of Satan. The work of Satan. Pastor Denise, it says he will come with great power. You now hear me good. Great power. He will do all kinds of false miracles. He will do signs and wonders. False miracles. So, powers. Evil powers. So, oh no, no. Oh no, no, see. Some of them so called false prophets yeah, do some foolishness evil powers evil powers don't ever think that there are not evil powers in this earth so we start with principalities powers they might take it down a bit now we go to the rulers of darkness of this world so the atrocities that you see happen in the earth there are demons that are over them ruling it they are called the rulers of darkness. They rule the darkness. Hierarchy. Principality. Powers. Rulers of darkness. They work together. You know. Rulers of darkness. Just like how, you know, see, it happens all the time. An evil wave happened over Jamaica. One up in a sentence, they rape on Pitney. One up in a handover, they rape on Pitney. One happen a how of you? And none of them not connected. Oh, them not connected and them happening at the same week. It is called orchestration. Rulers. Rulers. And some rulers of darkness, they use practitioners as puppets. For instance, Oberman. Powers may I talk about, you know. Yeah. Evil. Evil. Spiritual wickedness in high places. High places. Now, after reading all of that, do you see now why the ministry of, of casting out devils or the deliverance ministry is so important? It is very important to cast out devils. The active finger of God to cast out devils. Now, I will say this, and I care zero who wants to bet. If your church is not casting out devils, it is obviously lying in darkness. Because the demons have no resistance. So you see, they follow the preachers. They must say, they don't really cast out devils, and they don't really um, correct people. That's why everybody flat them church. Because the devils are comfortable. And some of them have the biggest churches. No, the Bible speaks not just about principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. But the Bible also speaks of serpents, scorpions, unclean spirits, lying spirits. The Bible speaks about the beast. It speaks about the dragon. All of which are really devils or behavioral patterns. The Bible speaks of evil powers. The Bible speaks of lying wonders. False prophets. Lying wonders. Now you know false prophets. These people, Minister Griffiths, 
That's why in the Old Testament, God, t- God tells us, do not go to the people that operate with a familiar spirit. False prophets get their information from familiar spirits. Why? Because they might imitate God. Because when someone, a minister, prays for you and he can give you information from the past or the present, it is the gift of the word of knowledge. But because the prophets are false, they have to use a familiar spirit. Matthew 24 verse 4 says, For false Christ and false prophets will arise and will show great signs and wonders to mislead people and if possible, even mislead the elect of God. Revelation 13 verse 13 to 14 says, He performs great signs so that he makes even fire come down from heaven in the presence of men. I wish false prophet try to make fire show up sure what they I point fingers, but I nah can't. No name. You should know. It's in the book of Revelation, bro. I mean, why would you make fire come down from heaven? To all people? The last time I see fire come from heaven was in when Elijah called, called down fire and it was to burn up the sacrifice that was there. Hope to know what they want me to read it, I notice. The sacrifice that they placed on the altar was the altar of God. There were many altars being built to false prophets. So Elijah said, come now, let's put the sacrifice on the altar of God that everybody was rejecting. And let us pray for fire. And the fire did come down because it was the fire of God. (laughs) To prove God. And then Elijah said, kill every false prophet. But no, people just want to see miracles too. Wow, people. If you do that, you are off. False. Now let's talk about orchestration. As we have been talking about. What is an orchestration? An orchestration is basically events that happen same time. Basically impeccable timing. Events that correlate, that happen with impeccable timing. Things that happen and the timing are just right. Uh, you have to understand. I have stories upon stories. I've been traveling with Apostle, you know, 15 years. Orchestration. And you question things and you just can't find why and how. Now let's look on demonic orchestration. You go to the book of Job. Chapter 1, verse 14 to 19. It says, Job was a rich man. Job had a lot of animals. He had a lot of stuff. But when the devil visited Job, he had goats, oxen, a lot of stuff. The Bible says, the Sabians planned against Job. This was total orchestration of the devil. Because the devil visited Job, right? You know the story of Job. Where God says to the enemy, have you seen my servant Job? Satan said, yeah, I see him. But you hedge him wrong, you protect him. Can him not. No, Satan says, take with the hedge. And see if Job not going to curse you. God said, all right, man, take with the hedge, but don't touch him. Now this is demonic orchestration. The Sabians come. Them thief the oxen, Ella Hopetan. Them thief the donkey. And them kill every, ser- every servant. All of the donkey them there. All of the oxen them there. The servants are there. Everybody dead. Everything got stolen. Every. Why some could have left? Why, why at least some sheep could have run off or something? Everything. After that now, lightning strike from the sky killing everything. Including the servant. How is that possible? Lightning just strike everything. Demonic orchestration. Then the Bible says, this is the last one. While that servant was telling Job, another messenger came and said, said, your sons and daughters were feasting and drinking in your oldest brother's house. When suddenly a mighty wind swept from the desert 
struck the house, the house collapsed, everybody did. You can't see it. You can't see it. The lightning strike, everything did. Including the man, that, I mean, come on, if the sheep, them are the goat, them are the oxen, them they out of which part, Camille car, they are me, they are so the lightning strike, oh, don't sketch me, and it, everything dead. Everybody in the same house, and the house collapsed. I mean, if, if, if Minister Griffiths in a one room, I mean, and one next room, or even if all are in your son, one wall collapse, somebody must escape. Everybody dead. Demonic orchestration. Another demonic orchestration was, do you remember the madman that ran to Jesus? The Bible says, when Jesus, they sailed in a boat, went to the place, and the madman was, the Bible says he was naked. In no matter how much change they put on him, he just break it. The Bible says, no one could pass that passage. The man locked down the whole community. Say, so if you don't want to carry food in the community, if the people must starve, you can't carry it. If water gone in another place and you don't want to carry water, you can't carry it. The people just are going to suffer because of a legion. We lock down the whole place. Legion, for we are many. Lock down the whole place. Demonic orchestration. Just lock down the whole place. First Thessalonians 2 verse 18, Paul speaking of what happened in Ephesus. Now I have some information of Ephesus, right? The book of Ephesians, the people from Ephesus, Ephesus, Ephesians, Ephesus. When you heard of, Paul says, when you heard of God, when I visited you the first time, you accepted it as the word of God. And then Paul says, for I wanted to come to you again and again. But I was blocked, or I was hindered by Satan. Paul can't get for minister because Satan blocked him. You know, for me, mine, I'm minister, Paul, I'm minister, you know. Now, at Ephesus, Paul's ministry was very effective. When Paul prayed for them, the Holy Spirit came and everyone was filled. Zin, the word of God came to many Jews and many Greeks in that province. Zin. Paul taught daily and he lectured daily. The Bible says Paul taught them for a period of two years. It was there that Paul took handkerchiefs and aprons and gave to the people and mighty miracles what take, took place. It was there after Paul preached the whole of the people they practiced sorcery. They came and they burnt their books. And the Bible says they were of a lot of value. Revival broke out of Ephesus. And Paul, go away. I want to come back and see it and block him. You hear what I say? Block him. Paul says. In another book when Paul was writing, I fought the beast at, at Ephesus. Now a holy poor people, they question it by saying, it is not written in the Bible anywhere else that Paul was in, in, in a fight with any beast. But it is obvious that in that era, the people worshipped the god Artemis. And Artemis is the god of wild animals. So how can you question it when Paul says I fought the beast at Ephesus? The God of wild animals. Come on, do better than that. The devil put, uh, puts his order in place. And he puts devils in significant locations to stop the plan of God. And if you are a part of the plan of God, it means that you will be stopped. When you remember say? serious you have something called spiritual mapping now spiritual mapping if you do not know is when you go in a community you look what is happening there as in patterns of darkness so if you know if you notice 
You go in certain areas, the males die at a certain time, them end up in a prison, or for those who survive, them sick unto death, no for them to waste man orchestration. You have some places where people just get sick. <laughs> everybody sick. You go some place, everybody handicapped. Them things are not natural in a people. Orchestration. Demons that attach themselves to the lives of people are a community to ensure that bad things happen. You all know the community that I'm from. I said it once, I will say it again. Most of who I grew, who I grew up with are dead. Gunshot. Violence is always erupting. War is always happening. Demonic orchestration for that to just rest in the community. Now you have demonic orchestration and you have godly orchestration. Now let's look at a godly orchestration. First Samuel verse 9. Now how the story is, the Bible says, Saul, remember Saul, right? Saul that came before David. Saul's father was very respected. And the donkeys that they, that they have, the donkeys got lost. Saul's father, look on Saul and say, get a servant. Now they were looking for the donkeys, they couldn't find the donkey. Night come, Saul says to his servant, Saul said to his servant, let us go back home before my father. Stop worrying about donkey them and start worrying about us. And the servant said to Saul, Before we go, I know a man of God in a town that can tell you everything that you know. Now in the name of Jesus, how in the world could Saul not knowingly pick the right servant to know about man of God? After they went to the town, they saw a woman. The woman said, Hurry up. To get to me, I say, the woman said, Hurry up, he is out of the gate. They are going to do sacrifice and eating. The Bible says, As they were going, Saul and his servant saw a man, and they said to him, I am looking for a servant of God that can give us some information. You will eat with me tonight, and tomorrow you will go. And they did eat with, and if you continue to read the story, Marcia, it says, God spoke with me, God spoke to me about you, Saul. For God wants to anoint you king. Let's talk about another orchestration. Joseph in the Bible. The Bible says the king was angry with, his, with the cupbearer. The, 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 let's read it. Let's read it. The baker, thank you, and the, and the cupbearer. Yeah? Joseph was in prison. The Bible says when the king got angry with them, the king sent them to the, the prison where Joseph was. Oh God, man. After them got there, the, 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 the chief that was running the prison, Zin, can you know how prison state have a whole heap of compartments? You know what the chief to Deacon Camille? Set Joseph as them servant. Oh my God. And the Bible says, after Joseph became their servant, the two, the two of them, which is the cup bearer and the, and the baker, had a dream the same night who was there to interpret the dream well I know the Bible says just as the, the, the dreams the boat dreams came true right and one of them let me read the story forget me no one say nothing wrong the, 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 the cup bearer yeah the cup bearer in figure after after he got released from prison God the other one dead you know fear or kill him Released from prison. They there with Pharaoh. Forget about Joseph. For a couple, maybe a couple of years. And then when Pharaoh had a dream, who the cup bearer sent for? Do you know that after Joseph interpreted the dream of Pharaoh, Pharaoh said to Joseph, the only difference that will be between me and you will be the throne. So you have godly orchestration and you have demonic orchestration. John 10.10, 10, do you know why the devil orchestrates? 
He simply wants to kill purpose. John 10 says, The devil comes not but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Now watch this. Watch this. When Moses was born, the king heard about Moses and ordered every male child that was maybe at, at the age of Moses to die, kill it, because he didn't want to kill Moses. Because Moses was to be the deliverer for God's people. The king killed every firstborn. Do you know that it was the same thing with Jesus? Every firstborn of the dead because they might try to kill Jesus' purpose. Do you know that James, the disciple of Jesus, or the apostle of God, got killed by the king? And after him killed James, he sent for Peter. After him killed James, he sent for Peter. And if the church never pray for Peter, Jezebel tried to kill Elijah because they might try to kill purpose. And I said it already, and I would say it, I will say it again. Notice here, it is always the highest rank that comes against the generals of God. It is rank against rank. Always remember this. Rank against rank. Now let me tackle another fallacy. I know what holy for people say. Me hear, me used to hear it when me young. Me now pray out oh loud. Because the devil can't stop my prayer. And I always say, the devil, the devil is so powerful. He's more powerful than God. Who am I going to stop my prayer? And me used to follow them and do it too. Utter rubbish. Can't buy a demon in your mind. With, with not your head, how you going to do it? You have to speak it out. Amen? No. Based on the book of Daniel, the devil cannot stop your prayers. Because he cannot stop God from hearing you. God hears every prayer. He just doesn't listen to everyone. We can always hear what you are saying, Kimara. But me not have to listen to you. Me just hear what you are saying. God has to hear everything in our God. He doesn't listen to everyone. No, the devil cannot stop God from either hearing or listening to your prayer. But based on the book of Daniel, he can try and stop your answer. So God can tell Deacon Camille to bless you and choose there. And Deacon Camille hear the word of God. But when she go in her car and she, as she drive in her car, she get a call. That friend they want to see her. That friend they want to see her. She woke up in a police roadblock. Police gave her ticket. And she don't see her till all Friday. When the day the, 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 the day when she's supposed to give you hungry. And God have to try to use another way for bless you if you continue to pray. So, so the devil cannot stop God from hearing your prayers. But he can try to stop the answer. That is why Daniel continued to pray. And that is why Paul says to pray continuously. Amen. Now I conclude. The ultimate plan of Satan is to stop purpose. Yes, but it's the ultimate it is to ultimately stop the purpose of God or the kingdom of God from manifesting. Colossians 2 verse 9 to 10 says, For Christ is, is the fullness of the Godhead in bodily form, and you are complete in him who is the head of all principality. So even though the devil has his lineup of demons and his uh, hierarchy, we in Christ are higher than him. Jesus says, I saw Satan fall like lightning. The demon, them did fool, you know. And them still fool. Because even before Jesus went on the cross, he gave his disciples power to cast out devils. Ephesians 2 verse 46 says, And God has raised us up together in Christ and has seated us in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. So we are higher are in a more, a higher realm than the devil. We have authority because of our position in Christ. We occupy the highest realm. We have a higher rank. That's why we need to pray, Thy kingdom come. 
thy will be done. Because it is only us who are Christians that can execute God's judgment in the earth. When you cast out devils, it is a judgment, you know. We are called to do that. The Bible says in the Psalms that God shall cut off the spirit of princes. He is a terrible king to the princes of the earth. It is the will of God for us to displace those that are seated in darkness, seated in heavenly realms, trying to manipulate, trying to cause evil working. You hear what I say? The only time demons turn idiots is when the anointing is present and we break in. The Bible says you can't break in a strong man's house unless a stronger than him come and take away goods. Well, let me give you some stories. Now, I believe, based on the community that I'm from, even though I got saved, orchestrations happen all the time. I was in a very sad state. Even though I was a Christian, no no love story. Minister Griffiths, Ella Hopeton, you know, matter if I did not cut off foot jeans, a t shirt, doesn't matter if I'm in my church clothes, shirt in a pants, belt well tucked, square mouth boots. Once I'm passing a police car, they might go stop and they might go come down for me, all guns out. I could not, for the sake of God, pass a police car in peace. It no matter if at 12 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock in the day, 7 o'clock in the day, it no matter. Once and a couple times, Ella whooped and when I see them pass me, I saw them here stay. I steal me from head to toe. And anytime you come, them, them come out of the car, all guns blaze, all guns out. When you see them wear glasses, right? I know me and a nerd. I don't look like a nerd. I don't look like a bad man. Why? And it no matter where me there, not just talking about my community. It up in a town, and not downtown, half a tree. And you know what the biggest issue? It was peak hours. Everybody come out from work, picnic come out from school, me walk in a crowd. And me alone, them single out. Me alone. And before we went on fasting, Apostle said, Randy, you have to fast against us something there. And the day me start the fasting, it has never happened again. Ask me why. It is not natural. It has to be orchestrated. And it is because of the community that I am from. What happened to everybody else should have happened to me. <sighs> community spirits that operate to cause death, poverty, sickness. It is called cycles. Let's go to my vision. Now, I've had a lot of visions. This one should be interesting. Take it down the mark. I'm one of them. Hear my vision good. I went to bed. Normal. Everything cool. This was years ago. All of us now had a dream. I've had many dreams. They are visions, really. I saw myself. Photographies. Came out of my house. Walking towards the roundabout. So, roundabout. I call which one I come from. And all of a sudden, walking towards the roundabout. Everything good. <laughs> but just to myself, fly up in the air. And when I fly up in the air, I came up and then, boom, I stand up. But when I look, when I stand up, I say, where am I there? I look around me, I not say nothing. It was a huge, wide area. But I notice that where I was, I hear talking. And then I notice that the talking that I heard was plans. Let me say, who I talk? Because all these, uh, I heard two voices, right? And all they were doing was planning evil. Pure evil. They my plan for this happen. They my plan for that happen. They my plan when it will happen. Listen to me, if you don't pray, demonic orchestration, their timing, their timing is basically impeccable. Do you know it is so serious that if someone is to die and this is planned by darkness, the only thing that can stop it is the prayers to God. 
The man them who set the gun man them in at the right place and them just buck up the person at the right time and no police not there if you stop them and them shoot and the person they just now get escape. Them just half it dead. Me know one man will get shot. That won't get shot. Now I'm sure that. Dead. Or, or, or in my hand. Whatever it is. Dead. When everybody else is survive. Death just must take place. So I was there. Hearing these things. Planning evil. I mean, I said, God, I want this. Come and start get frantic now. When we are here. Listen to me. The level of, I, it was two things. One where I see these things and one where I see the devil. Just a vision. The level of evil that I sense in these things is not on this earth. Me never buck that evil in a mankind yet. Me no sense the level of evil in the earth yet. One man said, listen good. And when I listen good, he said, look down. He said, come sir. Camille. Two principalities that are under my foot. And this is how I see them. They were locked in like this. Nothing can come in. Nothing can go out. Them lock tight. Now remember, this is not doctrine. This is just a vision that I got. And that is all they do. I may say, God, nobody now hear them something. Yeah, me alone, I hear it. And after I said that to God, boom, I wake up out of my bed. And as you know, <laughs> come here and say, what is But God was just showing me how they operate and how they are locked together. All they do every day is plan evil. They do nothing else but to plan evil. Now I have the last story, and this includes Apostle. There is a certain madman that we are always seeing. And this has been happening for years. When you hear me say, when you know, we don't like, especially Apostle, we don't like mad people. That man is just coming like him, I follow away. No, we used to leave church. We used to go eat at a certain place, right? Pastor Denise, you no know, matter which route we take, we are bought the man. And a taxi we are taking. We take Edgewater route, you are booking. We say, all right. We take Edgewater route four times and we book him. We now take Edgewater route. We we'll go to Westchester. You know, sir, we book him in a Westchester. He never take Edgewater route on that day. We book him to Westchester. We say, all right. Pastor Denise, oh God, I feel weak. We say, Hopton, we now take Westchester. We now take Edgewater. We take I-95. We bought the man for I-95. Now, how is that possible? Impeccable timing. How is that possible? Can't understand. Hopton, we say, all right. Apostle say, Randy, we now go down there, so. Tired to see that man. We are going to Elsha. Go eat some food on the beach. You know, so when you come out, the man there, he'll show up. How, Hopton? How? How? Apostle get mad and say, Randy, I'm going fast against this. Because I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. And I'm fast against it and I'm pray for about a month. Stop following him. You know, we start following now. Look how serious this is. Because in them time, them used to ride go um, supermarket and money, right? Come out. I pass Edgewater. See my Edgewater. I'm talking weeks, you know. Come out. I'm going to see my Edgewater. I say, all right, I'm going to see him this morning. As I go over the bridge, I eat my buck up. Come out. Next, now next time, all right. I buck him a gavel mead. All right, I'm going to see my Gavin Mead, I'm going to see my Edge Water, I'm going to see him over the bridge. I'm going to the supermarket. I'm going to the supermarket. I'm going to the aisle tree. Somebody come behind me. Randy, look who behind you. He said, Jesus Christ, how are this? The man coming at the line behind me. 
because I never see him on my way. I don't understand. One at a time, I say, all right. I left my yard, go up on the road. This time I take taxi. I never see him on my way to go, going on the road. I never see him at the supermarket. I left the supermarket. I got a wholesale, go buy the meat. Who stepping at the wholesale behind me? You don't understand, you know? You don't understand. Orchestration is real. And that's why we have to be praying so hard. So God, I say, I'm tired of this, you know? I'm going to go up and fast him. I'm going to say, I broke your signal. Any signal, I break it. I broke your antenna. I plead the blood of Jesus. I trample it. I bind orchestration. Every devil where I make this happen, come out. You know, same stop following me. You know, him start falling again. Apostle. It gets so serious after him stop following me. You know. I start seeing no one then. I pass start praying against him now. You know. So, him not really see him no more. I mean, not really see him no more. But I start praying against him. You know how it gets serious, Griffo? Minister Griffiths? understand. Look upon this no man and tell me how this is possible. I get up out of my bed, right? The morning. Me pray. After me done pray, Deacon Camille, me go the window, open the front window, open my door. Guess who passed me gate? Jesus. Oh, 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 he passed me gate. Oh, he gate, me gate. You have to understand, you know, when bad things take place, a demon to orchestrate it. You don't laugh because it may seem funny, but it only proves to us how real the demonic realm is. You don't understand, you know? You see when we used to have special service? At them time, the things used to go wrong. Everything get delayed. Everybody I get holed up. One at a time, my pastor come in, my drive come in, him crash out the cell. Because I want like a idiot taxi man. He come late to the service. This is why we have to be praying so hard. When you get what I say? Let us all stand. Now this morning we will be doing a declaration. And we are going to do prayers for protection. We did it last week, but this morning we are going to enter the courts of heaven. The Bible says Jesus is our intercessor. And we have to pray, Amen. We have to break, we have to bind, we have to go to God because these things are not natural and they are working by principalities and powers that are planning. Another vision that I got was when the principalities, I was praying at the time, they were up there and what I saw, Griffo, was tentacles coming down to the demons that are on earth. So them planning. So bad things just have to happen, even to the right and the wrong people. Are you ready for pray with me? Are you ready for pray with me? Let us all lift our hands. And let us pray now. Repeat after me. Demar, take it down. Say, Father. Father in, the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. By the authority of your word. Of your word we invoke the power of the blood of Jesus. For our salvation and protection. Mom, thank you. By the greater power of the blood. We destroy every curse. And attack. Coming against us. In the name of Jesus. We declare. No weapon formed against us. Shall prosper, shall prosper and every tongue, and every tongue that, rise us, that rise against us in judgment we condemn, judgment we condemn. Lord, Jesus, Lord Jesus let your blood cover our families we pray, we pray that you would immerse our lives with the power of the blood of Jesus 
I plead the blood of Jesus over our home, our property, our car, business, ministry, family, and earthly possessions. We plead the blood of Jesus against any disease, virus, or infections coming against us. We plead the blood of Jesus against all attack, accidents, misfortune, and tragedy sent against us. Let your grace, O oh God, preserve our lives and restore us to good health. In the name of Jesus, we stand together against any demon spirits that are working against us. And we outrightly contend with the works of darkness for the manifestation of our deliverance as children of God our heritage is to overcome we claim overwhelming victory over every plot of darkness in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we dismantle every satanic assignment instigated against us and the lives of our family. Father, reveal to us any open doors allowing the enemy to have access to oppress our lives we ask for barriers the barrier of the blood of Jesus to be placed between us and the agents of Satan that are fighting against us in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Lord for your divine protection Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us just lift our hands right now and let us pray. Hallelujah. Father, we pray corporately this morning as your people against demonic assignments for our lives. In the precious name of Jesus, let your blood cover us and separate us, God, from demonic assignments and demonic orchestrations. We cut off assignments. We cut off demonic connections that are connecting devils to move against us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cut them off and we strike them down. Lord, no more will our lives be orchestrated. No more we will, we will walk in the curses of darkness. No more we will go in the plans of enemy no more God will our lives be governed by the prince of darkness whether over our community whether over our family members whatever it is bloodline assignments we break you now come on pray with me we break bloodline assignments we break bloodline assignments. We command a divine disturbance. We command a divine displacing of the principalities over us. And Rosh Nebri Kronish Nasaprata, Mambre Tongrindurish Nasaprata Shata, Songare de Rabrash Nasaprata. Come out, come out. Come out, loose us and go now. We command the divine loosing. Shandai, Pandakrantar, Nantor, Rashnesa, Prata. We break them. 
We break them. We break them. Loose us and go now. Loose us and go now. We cut off the money connections. No one will know where we are. No one will know what we're doing. No one will be able to fight against us. Rishne bring Roshne Sambrata Shatata. Sondre Brodesh no Sabraker in the Rubbish Nasa. I still keep seeing that thing. Come on. We break every connection to familiar spirits. We break every connection. Even though we live in communities, our lives will not be governed by the Prince of Darkness over those communities. In the mighty name of Jesus, we lift a standard this morning. Hallelujah. Shenda Britosh Nisabrok Runder Rubbish Nisabrata Shata. Yumarandarik Rum Rundush Nisabratikish Nisabrata Shata. Let there be a divine breaking. Shabrat Bratish Umrundur Nisabrata. Dana, come here. Rabba Baba 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 Baba. Mabrundur Nish Nisabratikish Nisabrata Shata. Dana. Every demonic connection that is coming from a previous community, we break it now. Break, break, break. Come out of our family. We break them. Come out, loser, loser. We apply the blood of Jesus. Loser, loser. Break. We break that now. Break, break. We cut off every connection. Come out. Come out and come off. Out. Come out. We break your power. We break it. Break it. Every farmer connection. Brock. Brock. Looser. Looser. We break it. Looser home. Looser husband. Loose every family member. Every son. Loose them. Permanently. Looser and go. We break them now. In Jesus' name, Shandri Krundre Brashat. Kimara with your right hand, come hold my right hand. Roshna Sambra Tasha Tata Brata. The plans against you will never work. It may be simple plans, but the plan of darkness coming through people will never work. We cut it off from your workplace. Break. Break. Sir, and go. Go now. Loser. Loser. Loser, loser, we cut it off. Shandai, mam brata shanda, cut off. Loser and go. Go now, go now. Loose, you will not operate in our home. Come out, come out. Loose them. Out, out, out. Come out, 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 out. Loser and go now. Come out. Loser family. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. We cover chin. We cover chin. We cover chin. Come out. Come out. Every devil must go. Nikki. Nikki. Come here, Nikki. Stand up right there. So. Shandai. Go back a little bit. Father, everything that they have sent and said against your daughter at her workplace and even when she's not there we cut off every assignment in that region give me some way loser we break those things we bind them we apply the blood of jesus to that place and every connection to your daughter loser and go now loose cut it off cut it off cut it off that pregnant woman, mom breath nashata. We cut off every negative word. Every nigga, looser, looser and go now. Every negative word. Loose. Loose. Looser. I said looser. 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 We cut it off. We cut it off. We cut it off. There it goes. There it goes. Come out. Attached to your belly by the blood of Jesus. 
Come on, lift your hands and pray with me.